It's not your average kitchen, with around 450 chefs preparing meals for over 1,500 different menus, the Emirates Flight Catering Facility in Dubai is the largest of its kind in the world in terms of volume throughput, with the design capacity for 130,000 meal trays per day. This facility, EKFC1, opened seven years ago. And we're currently doing 125,000 meals per day for Emirates Airline. First, so first we plan out our menus um, that will run for the year. Our central purchasing department procures all of our produce. Um, we bring it into the facility where it's prepped, prepared, cooked, blast chilled, and then dished into the airline casseroles. We bring in our foodstuffs from all around the world. Um, starting with our beef is from the US, our salmon is from Norway, um, lamb from Australia, fresh produce of course from all across Europe, your fruits and vegetables. Um, we source it wherever we can find the right quality. In our kitchens, uh, we have chefs from 43 different nationalities. Um, this is ranges from everywhere. America, Switzerland, Canada, India, Pakistan, Philippines, China, Japan, Nepal, Myanmar. A, a large variety of chefs here. Because we produce so many different types of regional food, um, so we need chefs from each of the origins of our regions. Our catering facility is all, all latest high-tech kitchen solutions, um, from our, our cooking of rat pans, our ovens, our roasting. Um, all of our chillers operate on a saltwater brine system rather than your normal average condensers, which um, um, is softer on the food, but keeps it, maintains temperature very well. We have separate kitchens, as you'll see when you go around. Uh, we have a kitchen for all our special meals, which are dietetic or religious backgrounds. So this is the cold kitchen area. We're producing all our appetizers, salads, sandwiches, and fruits from this section. Uh, there's about 100 staff working here 24-7. So here they're putting together the Arabic Meza for business class for all of tonight's flights going out to Europe. Right here in the cold kitchen, they're putting together the cold cut plates for breakfast service. This area of the hot kitchen is cooking for the subcontinent. So, that's about it. I mean, the shrimps you saw before is for the prom biryani. The pastry and bakery cooking area. Um, so we make all our own Arabic sweets in-house. Uh, Fadi runs that. Um, all the baking ovens, so meringues we make. Basically, we do everything except Arabic bread. This is the bakery area. Bakery pastry right here, they're making chocolate chip muffins. And in the back, he's making the mixture for cheesecake. As soon as the trolleys are received from the aircraft at the uploading bay, they are segregated into food, beverages, duty-free trolleys and dirty equipment. An electric monorail system transports 7,500 meal carts per day. The monorail is a system that we have at uh, EKFC that's basically used to transport pallets from the ground floor to the first floor automatically. The monorail system is also used to transport airline carts from the wash to the washing lines for the carts to then be stripped. The carts are then sent to the mezzanine floor where they go through a industrial cart washing machine in the wear wash, over two million items such as cutlery and glassware are washed and sanitized in a series of specially designed machines. The machine behind us is the economy wear washing line made by Hobart. This machine is basically designed to wash the inbound tray sets and the machine can wash roughly 1,200 trays per hour. Now, we have 10 of these machines all running at the same time and that gives us an overall wear wash capacity of 170,000 trays per day. Okay, this is the Emirates Airline high bay store. Within the store there, are, there is roughly 24 hours worth of stock which is replenished several times, of day, several times a day. We, but if we have any shortfalls in the working floor of equipment or consumable items, we basically take the items from the high base store, we process them through the operation and production department, and then the stock gets replenished by an off-site store. And this happens 24-7.
This chiller is operating in the region of two to three degrees. And the reason why it's two to three degrees, we have to make sure when this flight is dispatched from this, this chiller and it's loaded into the high loader, the food has to be below eight degrees. And the, the reason why we have very, very strict temperature guidelines or systems in place is when this food is served to the passenger on board, the food has not been subjected to any temperature abuse. So when the passenger gets the food in front of them, the salads are fresh, the hors d'oeuvres are fresh, the sweets are fresh. What you see behind me is the business class high loader being loaded with the business class items. All the items will get loaded into the truck or the non-food items. Once all the non-food items have been loaded, the food items will then be taken out of the chiller. They'll be put into the truck. The truck, the items will then be secured in place by a strap. Once that happens, the shutter door will be closed and the vehicle will then be dispatched to the aircraft two hours before departure. Meal carts are later on transported by van to the aircraft, satisfying the sky-high appetites of passengers across the globe. Natalie Long for Gulf News.